recording. Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to anyone as well on the stream. There we go, into a little bit more of Darwinian. So right now I'm just waiting yes. for my my dudes to arrive. I mean, two turns over here, that would be perfect. And actually, unless he moves this exactly now, he won't reach in Latkaran before it goes away. So let me just check out if there's anything really annoying coming in. I'm pretty sure there isn't, but I'll be here. I'll have to check yes. over there. Now this guy needs the these guys. Your orders, my lord. I mean, needs these guys. So I'm yes. gonna attack here. No, this is just a pikeman unit, and then I'll go down because that's exactly what he needs to do. Okay, I will fight it because I really don't want to lose any units. You know, it is possible to do this without losing any units whatsoever. So that's exactly what I want. Now this army is quite complete, it just lacks some archers, you know, I would say. You pretty much, as soon as you have like four units of infantry, four units of cavalry, four units of archers, you pretty much have an army. But um, if you can raise that to five or six six or something like that, it's even better. No. Right now I do have six, as you can see, almost six units of pikes. It's not really six units of pikes, but you know. And the reason, you know, that I want some archers because I have three. Three three is the number, and the number that you shall count shall be three. Four is too much, and five, you're overboard. You have to go back. Right, so I really want to send these guys, but to their backs, or something like that. These guys, I gotta move them faster. Let me move them here. There's no reason whatsoever to use anything else. Right, now, one thing that I want to do is... The crossbowmen are fine attacking from the front, but I really want these guys from their back. Or side, you know, at least so that they can do some damage there. There we go. I move these guys here. There's no flaming ammunition here, that's fine. It's raining, so it's not like it's the best time to attack these guys, but it's still cool. Yeah, this is just one unit of pikemen. Of course, if I would auto-resolve, it would give me a little bit of a problem. And doing this, you know, I actually get to um, destroy the unit without having any consequences. Actually moving this cavalry here. Just so I avoid further damage from my archers, I mean, they could still hit me on the back or something like that. So he already has six. The enemy force remains. He already has 60 men here. It's diminishing fast. Yeah, my ar elven archers are now hitting them really well. And so are these guys. I mean, I can just send these guys here. There we go. And it's only 30 right now, so we should have this on the spot. It's 10 actually. Four, three, one. Good tidings. The enemy there we go. Lies dead. This is a clear victory! Good. So that means zero man lost. Uh, usually they would, you know, the AI can do this, but sometimes it can lose you some men and there's no point, you know. Just a, a very easy battle there. I just, you know, I feel like the... this um, shouldn't be like that. Shouldn't take this long, you know, to load up. It's, it's these loading screens that I always feel like, oh my god, really? Your order, right. So, I'm gonna go over here. No, no further, my lord. This yes, is also my lord. approaching. Your this order, one is also approaching. Lord. This is very important. Making I'll need care. to give him this general, by the way. And my yes, general... My yeah, there we go. There they are. Could have this guy away, but I don't order, really want lord. that. So, let me just check my agents. Yes, my I mean... Lord. Don't really have anything to do with this guy. Yes. I'll just move Tomorrow's over here. planned out. Yes, my lord. This guy yes, has Tolguldur. Let me just as see if this is still Tolguldurian. Yes, there is. Interesting units, dude. Without question. Let's actually talk to Mordor and have their map info. Even though I can already have it, you know. But I just want to confirm what they have or not, you know. All right, all right, all right.
stopping here. Hmm. Yet again, another campaign where I'll finish off Mordor. You know, I've been doing that for a long time. Oh, this is interesting. So let me see the attacking forces. Mostly cavalry. Mostly cavalry. Nothing too fancy. He has some archers, but lacks severely lacks infantry. I mean, he has no infantry that will want to close up. Even these guys will want to attack. So I could just deploy the stakes there. Yeah, and I still have four, five pikemen. That'd be interesting. Then he will send lots of cavalry to me, on from the other side. But you know, well, some of this is missile cavalry. So in actually, he only has three units that would charge. So here's my thinking: Will I have enough time to destroy these guys before the other enemies arrive, or not? I think I'm gonna fight this one, yes. I will not withdraw because it's been too long on the over here on the, the siege. There. At the same time, I don't really feel like I need to attack this. I mean, where's the other army? I don't see it. You know, the big army with the Mumakil. Well, I guess I can just withdraw and see if I can get a better angle to attack we these are guys. Disgraced. Oh, it seems better right no now, way. actually. Now there's this other captain, so he split it up. That's cool. So right now, I would have mostly to defend on one front, which is actually better, you know, considering that he has large numbers of cavalry, because I can deploy the stakes and just be done with it. Let's hope that this works out perfectly. Uh, I gotta remember that that general unit of the, um, or that captain unit, let's say, uh, of the Harondor mercenaries must be completely wiped out. Okay, let's start the deployment and see where I should should deploy. Okay, I actually have good places to deploy those stakes. I mean, if I would put all my archers here with the stakes deployed, they would have an, an amazing work. They would do an amazing work, actually. How about if I do it here? I think I can deploy enough stakes there. Yeah, as in, you know, deploy all the stakes around here. And just make it impossible for them to cross. Let me see if I have enough. I'm pretty sure that I have that. Oh yeah, I have more than enough. I mean, group up, shift one. Have eight guys? Almost got it in time. Right, I don't know why these guys are not deploying. Now they are. Good. So if I deploy the stakes... This is really well deployed. Okay, but still. Here's what I want. I want you to deploy there and deploy the stakes. Deploy those stakes. I mean, this this building avoids a little bit there. You know, I can just apply the stakes kind of in the middle of that. And I can apply here. These three guys. I can deploy them like this. Hang on a second. Yeah, let me deploy like this. This means that I won't really use my... My stakes. Hang on a second. Oh, that's that's not really well deployed, is it? That's a better deployment of stakes. There we go. And you guys, you're gonna deploy here, actually. Just so can deploy everything. So this is my line of stakes. Really need to use this, you know, because of the high numbers of cavalry that he's sending in. Then I would have this line of pikes, you know, just to control all the infantry units. Oh, really? I have something like this, right? Yeah, there we go. I can still deploy these guys here or something like that. Really? You can't deploy? Yeah, it's not allowing me. I don't know why. Yeah, it's these rocks and all that stuff. I guess this building doesn't really allow it. 
Yeah, look at that. This building really hates me. Yeah, look at that. So, how are you doing, my good man? Hey, King of Madness! I'm doing great, actually. We have an interesting battle here because it's two armies of Harad against me right now. And I really didn't want to lose too many units. That's why I'm taking so such precautions here. You know, basically that's that's the deal. I do have lots of elven units that I can have on the back to reinforce anything that's necessary. I'm gonna have them slightly to the back. If they don't move through this area, it doesn't mean that I'm toast. Hang on a second, guys. Oh wow, good luck! I will, I will. By the way, how are you doing, King of Madness? It's been a while since I've seen you. You are uh, at work right now, or, you know, just watching? So, cavalry, I want you guys here on this side, because that's when the, the enemies will arrive, most of them. What I mean is that the reinforcements will show up from this area. If they come up on my flank, it's a little bit of a problem. But I can deal with it. Yep, I'm at work. Alright, man. You have a good work, man. It's like mine. I can watch lots of good stuff. The enemy have brought up more men. Alright, so all the enemies are on that side. That's great. If they would come in through this area, it's a little bit of a problem. But I can always adapt to that. I mean, it's pretty cool. So I would love to send these uh, archers to the back. There we go. There we go, let's run. I actually want the spearmen a little bit more ahead. Just to kind of force their hand into this. There we go. Six more hours. Alright, that's cool. Can I put these guys here? I guess so. I mean, I can have these guys here, hopefully. Right have these guys over there. So it seems like our archers are all positioned. I mean, I have eight of them and the stakes there, so I'm pretty sure that we are very comfortable with this. Now, I just want to make sure that these horsemen do not go through this area. If they go through that area, it's going to be a problem for me. So that's why I want to have like this guy here to see if I can lure them into it. If they start moving here, then I'll just deploy a Thorn Guard, for instance, or something like that. You know, I can always deploy these guys over there, I don't know. I, I feel like the Naharem should be over there. And here's what I'm going to do. Enable God Mode. I really don't want these guys to sally out or anything like that. It's not like they have the best angle to attack or anything, but they have such high numbers of cavalry that I really need the stakes this way, on this at this point. I mean, you can always do the the cheesy stuff of putting the stakes like between here and the red. <laughs> I mean, if I had put the, the stakes here, there's no way he would he would die immediately. But I really don't want to cheese that much, you know. This is still cheesing, you know. A, a human opponent would go around here and of course will force me to to move some units, but still I would be made I would be able to send, you know, a couple of thorn guards, you know. If he this is if he doesn't do that, of course. Now my archers can for sure deal out with any archers that he has. Hopefully. I mean he has like two, three units maybe. Yeah, and his reinforcements are just very delayed. Which is good. They are rearranging. This is good for me. No, the more they take on re rearranging, the more it means that I will fight this after I fought against everything. It's actually lots of archers. So three units of archers. Yeah, the, overall there isn't a lot of melee infantry. Oh, and by the way, we're starting to attack the, uh, the cavalry units, which is great. And the southern archers as well. There's a Harodrim Raiders. So here, here's what I'm going to... Hold on. Spearmen, let's halt so that they deploy. Right. This black snake guard, go through, and that's one less general, for sure. 
that's why I love about that. There we go, enemy general has fallen. No, no! You're not really... You haven't understood what those stakes mean, right? So this is great. You know, most of their losses is just dying here. Uh, you can always attack the stakes, by the way. Just don't run through them, because this is what happens, you know. Basically, this stake is nearly dead with so many... It's completely full with so many lances there. So right now, I think the same thing will happen here. These are some Muhat tribesmen taking some fire. Okay, the Muhat tribesmen, it's really a good target for my elves. So that's exactly what I'm going to send in. So the Serpent Guard and the Southern Lances here are nearly dead. Some Southern Archers, Haradrim Raiders, that's cool. That's the Harando mercenaries that I need. Right, but so far it seems like everything is okay. I will be able to push these guys very fast because um, they already lost their general, which is awesome. I mean, that will mean that these guys will run away fairly fast. My archers are just dealing some damage to their own archers. Yeah, there we go. This guy, let me just move them back again. You know, I just wanted them to charge to force their hand. I mean, right now, I'm attacking anything that moves. I still have enough archers to, to do a heavy amount of damage. I mean, I'm hitting everything that is actually hitting me as well. So he's still not moving the reinforcements, actually, but he has already lost one general, so that's cool. The only one that I want to pursue is this Harondor Mercenaries, because that's the unit that is actually on the city. So if I take it out, uh, I'll be able to enter the city faster, I guess. He can't go through this, so the only thing that he's doing there is just waiting to be destroyed. Hang on a second. There were some serpent guards. They were killed. Amazing. That's cool. So I've lost some units, but most of these guys are getting killed. The raiders are also getting killed. There's the mercenaries, and there's the lances pushing through. Even if the stakes wouldn't kill them, I mean, just the pikes would. There are some Muhat tribesmen. Let me charge with my Avari guard. So that those southern lancers, thank you for charging on the worst possible space. Harando mercenaries are also Only getting wrecked. Enemy force remains. The, uh, he, it's referring to these Harando mercenaries, by the way, that message always shows up for every single army. They have three armies, so for every single army he's gonna say only half the enemy force remains. But guys, stop hitting my own uh, my own pikes. Thank you. Guys, stop hitting my own pikes. Alright, there's some southern lances there. Might as well tell them to attack the Ashari uh, Shadows here. You're gonna attack those. You guys are gonna move here. Enough. Yeah, let me send these guys to attack that. Let me tell these guys to attack the Hashari Shadows. So what's this? How do they raiders? That's okay. Let's tell them to attack the archers there. There we go. Hey, I don't have these guys... These guys don't have any more... Uh, you know, stuff. So here's what they're gonna do. They have no more archers, so let's just move these guys here. Run, thank you. Now my archers, they have completely destroyed these Muhad Beastmasters, so let's attack the shadows there. Those are the ones causing the most damage, by the way. 3% versus 33%, which is basically the army that they used to attack me. Yeah, I'm not even counting on these Hadadrim Raiders, I'm just destroying the archer units that they have. And I'll still have enough archers to deal with what he's bringing in. No, there we, there we go. This is actually just a charge, so I should only, I should honestly stop that. Because I really want these guys here. Let me move. Let me see if they are going through this area. They are not, it seems. That's cool. The battle is very much in our favor. There we go. Victory so these guys, have. let's stop the fire. And let's let the cavalry do this. Alright, let's send the Naharim there. I'm pretty sure these guys will waver in 
retreat as soon as they have some kills. Um, there we go. Nobody. Yeah, they are retreating now, so I didn't take too many losses. He's attacking with a hundred of the mercenaries there, so let me just move these guys here. Let's see if I can attack those archers. Yeah, there we go. Paladin, you're gonna take the southern archers there. You're gonna take the Hashari shadows. You're gonna take these guys. They've been running around, so they probably will die. And over here, these Hanado mercenaries pull boys. Yeah, they're fighting against these guys, and I'm gonna tell them to attack. Come on, let's go. Okay, right now I gotta be careful because they might caught. Uh, oh, killed the general. That's the the other guy. So those guys are not attacking. I don't know why. I'll have to check as soon as I have defeated these guys, and I'll see if I can pull them into me. And probably just use I don't know, maybe the unit of thorn riders. That would be the best. Yeah. So these guys are dead. Those guys are also dead. Let's readjust there. Oh hi. You can finish off these guys. So what is happening here? Why is he not attacking? Really don't know. He has deployed everything, so he should be moving in. Oh now he is. Okay. So I'm just gonna retreat these guys into that place. There we go. I'm not gonna set up on auto fire. Not yet. So have they killed everything here? They kinda yeah, so he's deploying again. Yeah, I think he is deploying again. So I'll have to move in to see if I can lure them. Okay, let's just attack these guys just to make sure that only that guy survives. Oh, they're fighting to the death. That's cool. That's one more and that's that's it. Right, let me see if I can move these guys here. No, just these guys because... There we go. Time six. Right now I'm already happy, I mean, I've done everything that I wanted. Let me see if I can draw some of these guys. Yeah, there we go. Effect complete. Okay, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Come on, let's run. And now I can set these guys for auto fire. Uh, they might catch me, but all of these guys are missile cavalry, so that's kind of fine. I mean, I can probably send these guys over here and they will be fine. They're no, really. Yeah. I was taking some losses, but this draw has drawn them into us. Right now, I want these guys here because the more they have to go around this place, the better for me. Yeah. Right now, they will strike yet once more. Won't they? Really? They, they, they didn't draw them? Oh, come on. Just send these guys in. To see if I can draw them in. Come on. Can I take those? Yeah, these guys are really fast, so they should be able to sneak just one fire. and cause them to move in. I mean, I have to move these guys fast as soon as possible. Okay, there we go. I think that was enough. That should cause them to come in. Yeah, there we go. He's moving in. Perfect. Perfect stuff. So, I want to save the Arch of Fire for his melee units. Um, and I gotta be careful because I really need my archers deployed you know, somewhat farther away, because they, they right now they are hitting my own units. Maybe if they're farther away, they won't do that. Sometimes that's that's how it works. Right. Hopefully this this won't matter. There we go. These guys should go backwards. These guys should go backwards. There we go. 
go. Backwards. They're all well deployed, I would say. Form that pike phalanx. Form that pike phalanx. Thank you. It's a long battle, guys. Long battle. Is he moving anything yet? Let me see. Time six. Come on. Don't over deploy those units. Just make sure that that you move them in. There we go. And now he's already in range. That's perfect. Because I didn't really want to use my archers against his cavalry. And right now he's sending the infantry units. Not one of the most terrifying ones at ahead, but you know. He'll still get some casualties done. So the Southern Pikeman unit is nearly dead. That's cool. And, and they're hitting everyone else as well. I mean the Southern Archers I don't mind them. The Muha tri tribesmen would be a good strike, but I mean they're already hitting the Serpent Archers. That's not something that I want, right? Yeah, I mean the Fort Archers they're not. So here's the deal. I'm gonna take those Muhad Beastmasters. There we go. Let's get these guys attacking the Fort Spearmen or the Southern Pikes. The Serpent Bladesmen, actually. No, not the Southern Pikes. The Serpent Blades, thank you. You guys... Well, I think you're attacking these. But let's let's have another one attacking those Trollmen. These guys can attack the Haradrim Raiders, it's fine. There we go. The more we can strike at those guys, the better. I really did You know, these Serpent Archers are already destroyed, so it's fine. Right now I have the upper hand, so... There we go. The more we can destroy these Muhad Beastmas, the tribesmen actually, the better. Because these guys are the ones who usually would cause a lot of damage. I am not worried about his cavalry, not while I'm stationed like this. Nor by the archers. They're actually not doing that well. He still hasn't put them on loose formation, so I'm gonna leave the attack for now. Alright. So right now I want you guys to... Well, they, they're gonna exhaust that fire. Mm, I think that's cool. I managed to destroy a couple of the best units. So let me just attack those Trollman Warriors, because those are very dangerous. Oh, some of these are Shadow Shadows. Maybe just one volley or another. Yeah, maybe that will do. Then if necessary I can move in, but I mean... Yeah, we are under attack because he now realizes that he has the upper hand in terms of the, the archer units. And as soon as I got rid of my archers, he's moving in. That's so perfect. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Yeah? Exactly. So this is gonna be great. Now my units can just engage in melee and that's okay. I'm gonna put these guys right here because they need to be able to pursue. I mean I just want the Serpent Guards to engage there. There we go. Fort Spearman, they should do nothing. And he's deploying in a way that, you know, he's not moving these guys. He's still deploying. Well, maybe he'll move in some of these units like the Trollmen. Yeah, there we go. Still, no problems here. Like, this Avati God should engage the Trollman Warriors. There's nothing that I really need on this side, so... I think I can just move these guys to the Serpent Bladesman, and that's it. And these guys, there we go, come on Serpent God, move in. I did so well doing this. Look at the amount of casualties that they are doing, and these guys are just very small there. So, how's the cavalry? What do we have to face? Serpent Guard and some Southern Lancers. Honestly, I should just attack these Southern Lancers here. Oh, 
hopefully this would cause them to rout. Right now we're doing really well. I mean this Thorn Guard is surviving, the pikemen are not enough, the bladesmen are dying, the Sultan Warband are dying. Let me just control this. You know. I really want to finish off this unit before this Serpent Guard arrives. No, they're gonna charge. That will cause a problem. Because my general might get killed. I mean, look at that. He's gonna get attacked there. Oh, come on, really. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. This guy, let's engage here. Let's get that away. How many other Sultan lenses? Alright, oh, that's cool. Let's attack that Serpent Guard. Let's attack that Serpent Guard as well. Now, I want you to attack the Serpent Guard. Let me see everything here. Yeah, it appears that he's definitely not liking the odds here. Okay, so he's disengaging there. That's cool. He's actually in Only full retreat. Yeah, look at that. He's actually retreating there. So let me move this guy and this guy in order to chase them. Yeah, I think he set the retreat button. So I'm not going to capture all of this. I'm just going to hit the Ford archers and stuff. There we go. Let's actually hit those separate blade masters. These guys, let's go for it. I know these are southern warbands, but that should be nice. Okay, hang on, a bodyguards. Let's move here. Right, I think the charge should do it. It should cause them to rout. I mean, the Ford Archers. Yeah, I think most of their forces are routing away. So that's cool. Maybe they're still fighting? Well, the, they're 21. There's no way they can kill me. Yeah. 18 now, that's cool. So I'll be able to capture a lot of these guys. There we go. Fun riders, go for it, and you're gonna go for these guys. Let's attack those southern archers. Yeah, he's retreating, I can tell that. Actually, I need to attack those. Yeah. Southern Warband? No, let's stop that. I can actually move these guys to chase them. There we go. There we go. So, Fawn Riders, you should attack the Spearmen there. I think, I think that's a good idea. And these Navadi, or Navadi, Navadi, Nahadim, should engage there. It's a very long battle, man, but it worked perfectly. I mean, almost everyone is dead. Have to engage those. Yeah, there we go. Not a lot of men here left. I mean, yeah, he's still trying to cause some commotion. You know, he's just retreating, of course, but. Yeah, you heard that retreat. I mean, these guys, they're already wavering. As soon as they lose a couple more, they will die. Maybe be able to hit those Muha tribesmen. They're very good. There we go. This guy has eliminated those. No. You should eliminate them. That's the time six. The there we go. Pursue and run them down. Actually, anything here? Yeah, there we go. Some troll men. And that'll be it. Hopefully, I can get everything that I wanted. What's over here? I can see another unit. Oh, there we go. That's a Ford Spearman. It's dead. There we go. This guy should be able to clean up everything. What's what's going on over here? Yeah, just some southern pikemen who went all around. It's okay. Let's clear them. So it worked out perfectly. I mean, be awed by the victory we have won here today. Losing 215 against this? It's nothing. Like literally. Look at the... By the way, these casualties, if I'm not mistaken, they count the uh, the ones lost, lost at the stakes. So, um, that's why they're so high for the Avari archers, uh, you know. So, hopefully that was even better than expected. 
I mean, I don't know how many men managed to flee, but probably they, even if they go into the city, that will be easier. So let's execute them all. Yeah, look at that. We must make a stand. They are besieged. So let me search for that big army. It's still there. It's just really cool. My lord. That's really cool. My lord. He has some another Mumakil unit here. Yeah, that's the army. I gotta put my spies really nearby. So let me check the places. Kurvasa built the roads. How interesting of you. Let's go for market, right? And you build crop rotation. Might as well just build some mines there. Yeah, set when besieged. That should put us in some problems. Right, guys, that will be it for this episode for YouTube. I'll continue recording here on the stream. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.